Hey guys, Essence of Moana here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I will be giving you a tutorial of this 90s themed teddy bear in Adobe Illustrator. And with that being said, let's get started after the intro. So I will be starting off the formation of my sketch using the circular tool along with other tools like the rectangular tool and the pen tool and also the direct selection tool to create some unique shapes. So with that being said, stay tuned for the rest of the video so you could see how this sketch come together in full circle. So for this portion of the video, we will be working with the pen tool to create unique shapes for the hands and other areas like the clothing. I understand if you are a beginner, this can be a bit challenging, but to overcome your fear of using the pen tool, it requires daily practice. For others that also have some type of knowledge about the pen tool, we know that you know most of our shapes are never always perfect, but we also have the opportunity to use tools like the direct selection tool in order to fix these shapes and make them become satisfying to our liking. So you should not be intimidated for using the pen tool. Your intimidation will definitely fade after daily practice or continued practice and dedication to your work. So I want you to stay tuned for the rest of this video so you could see how I use the pen tool in ways in order to get my sketch done in the correct portion that is satisfiable to me.
okay so we are finally finishing up with the pen tool i know it was a lot of stress to watch and you will get it over time so let's take a look at our sketch and i'm really satisfied with this so let's move on to the fun portion so if you've made it this far in the video you've probably learned a lot so far so don't forget to like or subscribe to the channel because it does help so with that being said stay tuned for the rest of the tutorial so i converted my color stroke to black and i used width profile one and two in order to get those pointy edges that looks very nice for this particular drawing now i also added the crazy colors that you could see in the eyes off camera but i will be showing you the majority of the color combinations that i used to color the bear it's pretty easy as you could see on the left side of the screen i pre-selected all my colors that way i'm not struggling to see what color matches while i'm doing the tutorial for you so as you could see uh, most of the colors it's going to be uh, re in relation to uh, just a teddy bear as you could see there is brown on light brown on the feet and there's dark brown on the body which is most colors for teddy bears and then i will be adding the colors of the clothing i didn't do too much details in regards to the clothing i kept it mostly as you could see like a 2d drawing so that's what you will be seeing for the rest of this portion of the tutorial so stay tuned so you could see how everything comes together as one. Okay guys, as you could see, we have moved from a simple sketch to a well-rounded artwork. And I also pre-selected the background color as purple because it matched perfectly with the colors of the bear. I also added a background of rectangular shapes and I used the direct selection tool in order to get the slant effect that you're seeing alongside some rotation just to get it in line with how I wanted it to look. Also, I added a shadow background. Uh, underneath the bear using the pen tool with a opacity of around 27 percent in order to get the correct shadow effect only to make the bear not look like it was floating in the middle of the canvas so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and you were able to get a glimpse on how to use the pen tool i will be doing more tutorials in adobe illustrator with the pen tool so you will be learning more from me and with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon. Peace.